Welcome back, folks, with some more Whispered World. It's time to launch ourselves to the island in the middle of the lake to Come see on, Kalinda. Spot, show your stuff. Now let's get out of here, quick. She's gonna blow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Quick, Spot. Come here. There it goes. Light my ass on fire, Spot. Oh, oh dear. Um... Can you say kaboom? Together with the last rays of the sun bathing the sky above the lake in autumnal red, Sadwick floated towards the island. A peculiar fatigue overwhelmed him in the cold air of the night closing in. Sadwick! What? Where am I? Oh no, not that dream again. Have I fallen asleep? You have never been more awake than now. What do you mean? What do you want from me? I want you to fulfill your destiny. This world must be destroyed by your own hand. I would definitely not do that. Never, do you hear me? If you do, you will perish together with this world. No, you're lying. This is all just a dream. I want it to stop. I want to wake up. Yes, Sadwick. It is time. Wake up. Ouch. What? Where am I? Obviously, I've already landed on the island. Without breaking my neck, it must have been a very boring landing. I slept right through it. What time might it be? Hey! You! Hello, my little friend. What kind of a costume is this? Would you happen to be a clown? I'm a carny. In other words? A clown. What brings a clown like you to such a joyless place? I've got to get to Corona. To the King's Castle. No matter where you came from, you've taken the wrong turn. There is no road leading away from this island. So Shana sent me into a dead end? <sighs> I have to find Kalida. Kalida? Well... You have found her. What do you mean? Are you Kalida? Me? <laughs> no, but I am a part of Kalida. I don't understand a word. You don't always have to understand everything to act in the right way. Do you really have to speak in riddles? I need help desperately. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. Doesn't everyone have to do that? One type of person does that by taking action, others by remaining inactive. Ah, uh, yes, uh, maybe. But I really have to do it. Not in a metaphorical, wishy-washy kind of way. I see you are full of concern, little man. I wish you good luck on your quest. It's dangerous to wake Kalida. Perhaps she will eventually help you to leave the island. But consider that you yourself are a part of her as long as you stay here. What? Hey! Wait! What do you mean by all of that? Hello? I've got a bad feeling that the search for Kalida could take quite a while.
Phew. No chance. Though the pole is quite brittle, I'm just not strong enough. There's an engraving. Kalita has her ears in the water. Huh? The rope is knotted tightly. I won't achieve anything without proper equipment. No way. Not with the bell rope missing. Locked. Well, here we are at the island in the middle of the lake. Making our way up the winding, spiraling staircase that leads to many different houses. With many different personalities. And many new puzzles that await us. Will Sadwick find Kalinda? Or will Kalinda find Sadwick? I don't know, but get ready for some more serious dialogue. What? Who? A clown? What are you doing here? My name is Sadwick. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But don't waste your time. You won't be able to boost my spirits anyway. Why are you so unhappy? Does the impending end of the world bother you too? The thought that all could soon be over? Oh no. That's something for others to ponder. I don't care if the end is coming. On this island, we're done for anyway. You see, there's nothing to do anymore. <sighs> what do you mean, there's nothing to do anymore? It's been quiet here since the boss closed the factory. A factory? Pearls used to be pressed here, but the production has been discontinued. I see. Why is that? Well, the boss met his goal, 10,000 pearls. And now, he's afraid of losing everything. What he fears most is that someone could wake Kalida. He's really paranoid. I can't make the slightest sound anymore. <sighs> it used to be different. I was allowed to do the most thrilling jobs. I used to blow the foghorn in the house of the howls. And come noon, I was allowed to ring the bell, which sounded all over the entire island. But the most thrilling job was the work in the factory. Hot air. Thick smoke and the noise of massive machinery drowning everything out. Womp! Kaboom! Ha 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 ha! Bando! What's going on down there? Be quiet, will you? Or do you want Kalita to wake up? Oh, oh, oh dear. You see what I mean? Uh, the good old days are over. <sighs> ah, well. Who's the boss here? That would be Reuben. He owns this island. You can find him in the house on the hilltop. On the hilltop? Yeah, way up. Phew. Hey, hey, little man. I thought you wanted to save the world. You'll have to get off your backside for that, you know. Yes, yes, all right. No sweet without sweat, right? That's right. It will pay off in the end. Uh, 
payoff. It doesn't exactly look that way now. More like the opposite. Every step I take brings me nearer to the end. There's also the fear that my dream could come true. Um... At the hilltop, you said? Yeah. Way up. Great. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Later. But... Please keep in mind, be nice and quiet. Like me, I bundle! Be quiet down there! <sighs>